Hello, and welcome to another episode on the Unbalanced Pedestal Podcast. I am your host, Tina Marie. If you don't know that by now, shame on you. No, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> this episode is brought to you by, you know what they say, the bigger the bag, the more books it holds. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can still get the same amount of books plus more if you download the app Audible right onto your phone. You'll get these books plus millions of titles that is available to you straight on your smartphone. So go ahead, click the link in the description box, sign up for a two month free trial, cancel at any time. But don't forget, once you become a member, you get one free credit every single month. So you can choose any title to any author, whoever you choose to get. And it's free because you're our valuable member. Now let's get back into the episode. As promised, I am going back to one of the lessons in my course, unit four, which is heart. And within one of those exercises, I talked about, or I uh, cultivated a lesson just for you to talk about dating your daughter. And this may sound strange, so don't get it twisted. I know what I'm talking about. This is, or do you? But let me clarify either way for those who you who may be confused. Dating your daughter or son means that this is exactly what I talked about in my previous episode, episode 30, where you set your standards for yourself which also in turn set the standards for your child. So there was this one gentleman many, 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 many years ago. He has a daughter. I believe she was probably like three or four at the time. And so cute. But anyway, that's beside the point. So he was raising her. Uh, he was the... I guess, primary caregiver, and he had custody. And so he would take his daughter out on dates. Mind you, she's like three, four years old. So he is essentially teaching her how to be in the world, how she should be treated. And she's only that young. So when she grows up, and he's going to continue to do that. I'm not, I can't remember if it was like once a week they were doing it or so, but this is what he has been doing for such a long time. So she has standards and expectations. So when she gets of age to dating and courting and all those things like that, she knows what to expect from the other party, right? And so this is the same thing you want to do for your daughter and or son, because I know I've been including the son, because I know some people um, have expressed that <laughs> leaving the boys out. <laughs> boys are welcome here too. Anyone who is a preteen is welcome to listen, or who has a preteen is welcome to listen to this podcast. No shade. We welcome all. <laughs> but it's essentially about showing them how they need to be treated, showing how should be treated in the world by others. It's showing how another person should care for them. It is showing, it's showing them how they should accept others and the way they want to accept them. Not accept them out of obligation, not accept them to just be friends with them because they keep them company. To accept someone who is just there, just taking up space, because this is not what we want to teach our children. We don't want them to be around people who just take up space and don't have anything that's going to elevate your own child. And 
that is so important and so key to the development of your child, especially for those who remember the saying, it takes a village to raise one child, and it does. It takes a whole slew of people to raise your child, whether you know it or not, or admit it, or even haven't thought about it, or it hasn't crossed your mind, but it takes a whole lot of damn people, (laughs) not just in your family, but a whole lot of damn people to raise your child. And it's a lot of effort, a lot of production going on in the background. It's a lot for your child to become, you know, a part of society where they're comfortable and they're normal to, and I want to say normal, I mean, they know how to navigate. Maybe normal is not the right word to say, use, but they know how to navigate in the world. They are not misled. Um, They are not being taken advantage of. They're not being manipulated. They have their guidelines. They have their boundaries. And so that's what I was referring to. Taking out the word normal, because we're not using that word. No one's normal. No one's normal. (laughs) Look at me. Let me stop. (laughs) <laughs> I'm special, but uh, and I haven't had any coffee in like three weeks, so the energy is pretty good. I don't say so myself, but I'll be the judge of that. You're not going to be the judge of that. I am. So it's all about how they know what to expect. And if they see that they cannot get that, and I'm saying to look for it, but if they do not receive that from another party that wants to be in their life, then they can get it from within themselves. And this is exactly where in my previous units in my course, I talked I talk about you know, getting your mindset right. Because it's a lot to go into of being satisfied with yourself. Satisfied with yourself means that you are not worried about what someone thinks about you. You're not worried about what other people say about you. You're not taking things personally. And this is my favorite thing to quote Don Miguel Ruiz the four agreements, not taking things personally. When I read that book, that changed my life. <laughs> like the whole, that whole book, okay, amongst many books, but that book was just like, it puts so many things into perspective. It's your child will know that it's okay if they are alone sometimes, that they don't have to seek out any type of validation because that's going to lead to people pleasing and I've mentioned this before and for those who are new that I'm a former people pleaser I no longer people please so and that was you know 25 plus years of doing that and I look at my old life versus the one that I'm currently in, uh, my new life and many more to come. <laughs> I, I, I see the difference, uh, how I treat myself. I see the difference, how my, even the children, how they see themselves. It's, they don't, have that that stress and anxiety that I was putting on myself because I was putting too much pressure on myself and so that stress and anxiety anxiety has lifted and I'm able to share what I learned and what I'm continuing to learn so they don't make those mistakes and again this is all in you know explained in the course And there's also, you know, Q&A for the group. But the main thing 
is to know what their standards are for them to know what they will uh, be for them to know what is acceptable in their life and so when you're dating you know they know like for ladies uh, for young women they would know you know if it's a father daughter or if it's even mother daughter right they would know if it's you know regards if it's a special occasion or not they would know okay this is what i expect when we go out to dinner there's have anything you want on the menu whatever there's no uh there's no budget i mean obviously you don't want to walk away with the 500 dollar bill i mean if you got it you got it you know what i'm saying <laughs> but <laughs> they know they go to like the nice restaurants they are surrounded by you know the 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 wait staff the hostess they know what it's like to be in that environment and you know obviously this is going to depend on your budget but at least they know what it feels like to be treated like royalty because your, your children should be, have that experience. You know, they should know what that feels like because if they never know what that, that feels like from a young age, how will they ever know? Like, how will they ever know if, and this is like off topic, but there are those people who are in relationships and they've always been treated poorly from the first time they enter a relationship. And they say they go through, like three different relationships that treated, they were treated poorly. And this is, could be for male or female. When they encounter a person who treats them nice with respect and with love, what is the first thing they do? They question that person because they're like, something is wrong with you. Why are you not arguing with me? Why are you not hitting me? Why are you being so nice? Why are you showing me love? Like, what is that about? And what happens? They get rid of the person and they go back to what they are comfortable with, what they're used to. They're used to the abuse and all the trauma and all the the drama that goes along with it. So again, you, I will highly stress that you want to show your child what it's like to be in a loving relationship, even if it's with you. They know that you love them, that you adore them, that you have their back, that you are the one that loves them unconditionally. Because once they know they have that unconditional love and they know that they feel wanted by their own parents, that is a huge game changer, a huge game changer. So that is my short and brief (laughs) episode topic on, on dating. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have not already liked this episode, please go ahead and do so as well as go over and click that subscribe button because it does help support the channel. Because you know, mama's trying to retire early. (laughs) Uh, I don't know if I ever retire. I mean, I always going to be just doing stuff. Yeah, I can't just sit around and do nothing. I mean, I got I have to be active doing something. But we'll see. I'll keep you updated on that. But thank you again for joining me on this episode on the Unbalanced Pedestal Podcast. And I'll see you next week. Bye.